Hey, what's up, Prop Mob? So, I'm working on my uh, Habat department of rare specimens and obscure artifacts. You know, where I make all my little specimens, right? And obscure things like mummified fairies and whatever. Uh, and I'm working on it and I run out of labels. So, I needed to make some vintage labels, and that's what we're doing today. We are going to learn how to make this old looking paper, right? It has like spots. I'm also taking advantage, since I'm expanding my, my department of uh, rare specimens, I am adding the appropriate credentials with a vintage diploma made with vintage paper, a couple prints that are kind of like anatomical, right? And that is to expand my scene, right? So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let's get making some vintage paper. Let's get started right now. Okay, let's go. Let's get started with this project. So the first thing you want to do is uh, figure out what you want to print, right? And uh, the best approach, a tip, is to print it first, right? And then do the antiquing. Uh, in my case, I need some labels for some of my specimens, my rare specimens that I'm making this season. I also wanted some prints to put on the wall to you know, complement that uh, rare specimen and obscure artifact area of Brookside University, which is my cool scene over there. And I also wanted a certificate, something that looks like a diploma from my university. So that's for Brookside University. So I've decided what I wanted to print, right? Uh, here's the thing, make sure you use a laser printer or if you use an inkjet printer, it's ink that is not water soluble. Otherwise it'll run when you do the antiquing technique, okay? Also, if you're going to handwrite on it or draw, uh, use non-water soluble inks if you're going to do it before the antiquing. If all you have is like watercolors that are going to run, you're making like a fancy old page, like an old map or something, then uh, do the antiquing first and then paint over it. In my case, as I mentioned, I need more, more of these labels, right, for the specimen department because I ran out. Then I wanted some prints, so what I did is I went to the library and they were having a Friends of the Library sale and for 50 cents I got this guy right and I got this guy and then at Goodwill I found textbook of anatomy and physiology and that is like a really old book it has pages like this right pretty cool really vintage uh, this one with uh, anatomy it's like a coloring book but you can use that there's the foot, that'll be pretty cool. And then on this one, this one's pretty cool. This has, has some old prints of medicine stuff, medicine related art. That's pretty cool. There's a creepy muscles on the face. Or even a creepy bloodletting diagram. So I picked a few of these and uh, went to take pictures with my phone, uh, framed them real good, and I went to printer on my printer over there. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm gonna go print a few of these. For the labels, I have a labels file, uh, and it's in my website. If you want that same labels that I have, just go to mustardtutorials.com slash labels, and you can get it for free. It's a PDF. And for the certificate, I just went on Google and I searched editable diploma and you get a bunch of uh, companies that of websites that will let you do that. So Microsoft Word will do it, Canva will do it. And all you do is go to the diploma, change the names, change the name of the university, put your name, give yourself some cool scientific degree, like anatomy and physiology, PhD or something, and print it out. So 
So I got my prints now. Got the labels, the diploma, and the anatomical prints. So first step, let's make some strong coffee. I'm going to use the cheap stuff, the stuff that I use for the guests. The next thing we're going to do is take a baking sheet like this, pour the coffee in there. And drop your papers in there. Make sure to coat them both sides, otherwise you end up with a white spot and you don't want that. Let this sit there for five minutes. This step is not necessary, but it helps speed things up. I'm going to preheat the oven to its lowest temperature. In this case, it's 170. All right, I'm going to go brew some more coffee for the other two prints. After five minutes, just drain your coffee out. And here's the secret ingredient. So we're going to take some instant coffee, any kind. Just grab a pinch and then grind it in your hand until it's very, very, very powdery. And then just sprinkle it on your document. It will start blooming and giving you some really spots that look like it has been attacked by some mold or something. Now I'm going to put this in the oven for about five minutes until it's dry. Don't let your labels and your paper catch on fire. I want the labels to look particularly grungy since they're supposed to be attached. What is that? I want my labels to look especially grungy since they're usually attached to specimen jars and samples which scientists were supposed to pull out and examine, test and put it back. So they've been handled multiple times. So I went and crushed it gently and now we're going to sprinkle it. Somebody lost their phone. Must have been rich. Right, those look pretty grungy there. Let's add the instant coffee and put it in the oven. We are almost done. So that's how these guys turned out. As you can see, it's nice and yellow. It has those spots that show through. Right, see them on the back. And those are my two prints. Three prints. Got my destroyed labels. Those look pretty cool. You can also add fake blood if you want or other stuff. And there is my diploma. So let's finish these guys up. So the easiest thing we can do is the labels. And for that, I have a guillotine. You can use scissors, doesn't matter. So let's cut these labels. These are just security seals that I put on some of my props like jars so it looks like it's sealed and it's like dangerous if you open it. There you go. Nice destroyed distressed vintage labels. This will look awesome on any type of specimen. Now go to these guys right here. I'm going to frame this too so I ran to the dollar store and I picked up frames. They have a ton of frames there and just a dollar. So I got these guys right here. That's for the diploma and these two are for the prints. They are different styles so you can pick whatever uh, suits you. I like these guys because they have a mat. Since these prints have like a little bit of an edge and I don't like the edge, I got the ones with the mat. We'll see if we can hide that edge. Slide this out gently because these are super cheap. And you can tape these down if you don't want them to move. 
I'm going to tape them later because right now I'm just going to show you how they turned out. This is like the cheapest cardboard, so be very gentle with it. So, sliding this guy right here and closing this tab. And there is your vintage print. We may have to vintage this matte, this white edge, because it's really, really bright. So I might spray it with some coffee as well, but that's what this print looks like. Let's do the same with this one. And for the diploma, I'm gonna use this guy because it has a little bit of like gold. So I would assume you would get like a fancy frame like this with gold on it. Here again, they give you only one clip, right? But there is a slit to move that clip over there so you can hang it horizontally. All you do is take the tape out, slide it in. Now, so have the diploma here, it looks pretty cool. I was looking for a sticker for this, but I couldn't find a sticker. So I found one of my doubloons from Mardi Gras, right? And it looks like a seal from far away. So I'm going to glue it here and I also cut a piece of ribbon. And I'm going to use that as well. So I'm going to cut some, make it angled. All right. Out. I'm folding this ribbon in half. A bit slanted and I am going to add some of this glue right here. It's a little overkill glue, this is for plastic and rubber, but it will do the job. Now let's put a drop over here for the seal itself. This diploma was conferred to me on August 10th of 1888. And that is old. Right, let's assemble this thing. So carefully Just place it. Close your tabs. And there you go. Check it out, there's the vintage diploma. The vintage prints. I love the little spots that the coffee leaves. It looks like a like mold. Even the diploma has some spots as you can see, but they are not overly destructive. They just look like the thing has been sitting there for many, 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 many years. I forgot to sign the president and the dean, which I will do next. And tons and tons of labels for all of the jars creepy jars, specimens, fairies, moths, bugs, everything. Like that one. I need this because I'm working on a really cool but secret project right here. Uh, and we're gonna need these labels and that's a project that is coming up here in the future. And since I needed them, I said, why not? Let's put that into a video. So I hope you find this super useful or cool and if you do give it a thumbs up if you think you should share this with your friends go ahead and share it and if you haven't subscribed subscribe if you want to know what we're going to do with these labels in the future which is which is pretty cool i think all right pop mob i'll see you next time